how to prepare kele wele. These are the ingredients. You get your overripe plantain, a very ripe one. If you get the yellow one, you might not get the taste of the kele wele. So these are my plantain, overripe plantain. I wash it. I got my cooking oil for frying, my salt to taste, and my peppers. My spices. Got my chili pepper here. These are cloves. This is my onion, ginger. These are all cloves. Or African spices. This one is called in tree. This, this one they call it a strowisa. And this is ginger. This is cloves. And this is also another type of cloves. So what I do is I blend all these ingredients in my grinding pot. If you don't have the grinding pot, all these ingredients, you can get the dry ones from the shop. You go to Tesco, you can get even ginger in a powder form, chili pepper in a powder form, and you bind them together and mix it with a bit of onion just to spice it up. So here we are. I grind all my spices. It's all grind up. So all I'm going to do with salt. I'm going to peel my overripe plantain. See, it's, it's overripe. Cut it into two, and then I slice it into my spices. Slap, slice it. This is my overripe plantain all cut up and sliced into the spices that I ground in the grinding pot. You can just pick one and taste it for the salt. Meanwhile, I'm heating my vegetable cooking oil. I'm going to deep fry this. I'll just pick one and taste for the salt. The salt is okay. My oil, vegetable cooking oil is hot. I'm just going to use my spatula to cook it into the oil. And then I'll deep fry it till it's cooked. It's ready. Kele wele. I'm going to take it off the fat, the oil, onto my colander or my strainer, and then I'll leave it to drain before I serve. Here we are, our kelewele or spicy fried plantain is ready, served with roasted peanuts. You can have it for your starter, afters or as a snack. Kelewele or spicy fried plantain.